pattern, you need to take it out of the plastic. It comes with your instructions, general instructions, and then the actual pattern instructions. And then you'll have a sheet or two or however many of your actual pattern. You'll need to cut these pieces out so that we can then make a stronger uh, template for using when you do them a lot more. If you're going to make more than just one or two, it's a good idea to uh, cut them out, make a template, and it's a little bit stronger, lasts a lot longer. Now that we've cut out the template, the pattern, we need to make a stronger template so that it'll last a little bit longer because you can see this is a little flimsy to work with so we need to make it a little bit stronger. There's three options. Uh, the cheapest and easiest is a manila folder, an old used manila folder. It's nice and sturdy and, and fairly cheap. The second option is uh, some cardstock. It's a little bit thicker and uh, e easy to come by as well. The third option is this plastic which is called Quilter's Template Plastic and it's a lot more sturdy, will last a very long time, a little more pricey but it's worth it if you want to invest in something like that. Uh, for this purpose we're going to use the cardstock and I've already traced a few of my items on there. I'm just going to place him down on the cardstock. I'm going to use a Sharpie, easiest to use and then I'm just going to start tracing. Now that I'm done tracing, I'm just going to pull him up um, and then I'm going to transfer. You need to transfer some of the lines. Like this is a sewing line, so we need to just kind of transfer these here onto your template. So just add those lines. Same thing with across the ears. And then the lines that are here in the wing, those are also stitch lines. So just uh, make some dash lines like that. And these are just transferring those particular lines from the pattern uh, sewing lines so that you have them so you don't have to get your pattern back out. And now that once you have these cut out, because that uh, comes in a nice uh, plastic little Ziploc, it's a good place to store all your little bits and pieces like the little eyes and nose and, and the individual pieces. So now that that's done, it's time to cut them out. Like I said, if you made a little mistake like that, no need to worry. We're going to cut that right off and we're going to make it a lot more even. Just follow the line and cut them out. All right, there's the bat. He's all cut out. Uh, one of the things I like to do uh, once I have the actual template is I like to write uh, that it's a bat and what uh, pattern number it came from and uh, like how many I'm going to have to cut out if I got to cut out two. Um, or if I've got to cut out one out of double layer fabric, then I write that on here. That way when you pull these pieces out, all your information is on the actual uh, template piece and you don't have to get out your other uh, smaller uh, piece like this that has the information on it. You're ready to go with this actual piece. And the plastic uh, protective ziplock that your pattern came in, you now can keep all your pieces, this included, this piece, all your little pieces in the protective uh, ziplock bag uh, ready for the next time you use it, ready to go. Mm -hmm.